I think that the president has uh, really disqualified himself to be our commander in chief because he will not not only identify this threat but take the steps that are necessary to defeat this threat. The American people are understandably frustrated uh, with a president uh, who lectures us on the Crusades, uh, but is but is unwilling to call Islamic extremism by name. Governors in town for the National Governors Association meeting. As you see, a couple of Republican governors there. Some of them looking for a bigger job in 2016. Among them, Governor Scott Walker asked a number of questions. He put himself out there to a number of reporters, including, do you believe President Obama is Christian? Telling the Washington Post, quote, I've actually never talked about it or I haven't read about that, Walker said, his voice calm and firm. I've never asked him that, he added. You've asked me to make statements about people that I haven't had a conversation with about that. How can I say if I know either of you are Christian? He later tweeted out, enough with the media's gotcha game. We started our American revival to talk about big, bold ideas. We're back with the panel. What about this? And, and it's clearly uh, the media is focused on Walker, and he's in the spotlight. Yeah, well, I think that's the important context here. I mean, remember, there was a big Washington Post front page investigation on Scott Walker on supposed questions about Scott Walker's exit from college. There weren't actually any questions in the article. Then you had the, the Gail Collins hit piece in the New York Times editorial page, which later had to be corrected because it made claims that were demonstrably false. So you definitely have Scott Walker getting sort of the full media treatment. I think that, that context matters here. There's no question Scott Walker could, could, could have answered the questions better, more artfully. But look, I think the reaction that you got from him in response to this was the reaction that you would give or you would give if we were having a conversation about race cars and I raised vegetables. It just wasn't part of the conversation. He's here to talk about what he's doing for the National Governors Association. He wants to talk about what happened in Wisconsin. I get it, but he's and had a couple veering. of these. He's had a couple of them, you know, evolution. Um, Correct. He's had a couple of things where he says, you know what, I'm going to punt on that. Yes. And, and he's running for office in the time. I mean, he is he is in the first tier. He's going to have to be able to answer these questions. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. You know, he did so well on vaccines. I was actually surprised that he started to kind of whiff the, the, the evolution question. Look, there are a lot of people in the Republican base that don't believe in evolution. And there are a lot of people in the Republican base. We've seen the, the polls, 25 percent, I think, of Republican voters think Obama is a Muslim. I mean, you have to think that was... The, the somehow in his consciousness, why not just say, sure, the guy's a Christian. He doesn't think he's Jewish. What else does he think he is? Um, I'm surprised that he just wasn't willing to just, you know, put it to rest. Well, and obviously Rudy Giuliani provided another line of questioning for governors in town this yeah. week. Um, so what about And that's this? why he was asked I mean, about I don't know. I mean, yeah, if you're running for president, I, I believe in asking hard, maybe even nasty questions to presidential candidates. You want to be president? Tough luck. Answer the question. That's always been my view. On the other hand, I mean, come on. I mean, there are a lot of Democrats who don't believe, you know, in vaccines, who think GMO food is like Franken food or something. You know, you never hear Democratic candidates asked about that. It was a bizarre oh non sequitur. I would just say, as a political matter, there's an awful long time to go. Remember, in 2007, during the summer, McCain's whole staff quit. He was flying in middle seats on Southwest. He was a loser. People mocked him. No one's and saying it's fatal. They're just saying no, but it's... but I'm just saying it could look not even a so problem. different... No, but Chris Christie, for example, he I don't know a single. I don't know different. a single person who thinks Chris Christie's got a shot. But I don't know. There's a long way to go. Things change so much. It's worth keeping that yeah, in but mind. Scott, can I say one thing? Scott Walker had a great article in the Washington Post, I think, about the unions in Wisconsin. Every conservative activist, Republican primary voter, reading that—that's going to matter a lot more to them than any kind of trouble he has answering questions. I want to ask you about uh, Hillary Clinton. She's speaking tomorrow to a group. Uh, this comes after the Academy Awards where there's a big focus. Patricia Arquette uh, accepting uh, Academy Awards saying um, that she wants to push for equal rights, uh, wage equality once and for all, equal rights for women in the United States of America. A big speech on stage. Washington Free Beacon has this piece. It says Hillary Clinton portrays herself as a champion of women in the workforce, but women working for her in the U.S. Senate were paid 72 cents for each dollar paid to men. According to this analysis, uh, during those years, the median annual salary for a woman working in Clinton's office was 15708 uh, less than the median salary for a man, according to this analysis. Anyway, she's talking about this issue. Does this matter? 
You know, I think it's going to be really hard to dislodge Hillary Clinton from her perch as a lifelong champion of women and girls. That's just part of her brand. I think the Republicans will go after that. But this reminds me of the charge against the White House when they were doing a pay equity kind of series. And, and the very similar stats came out about the White House. Not, we're not talking about comparing to a woman and a man doing the exact same job. We're talking about in general, women are paid less. And I think that Hillary will at some point have to muster all sorts of data that shows what women did in her office and how much they got paid. <laughs> they but I don't think it's going to under, deserve. it's not going to undercut her. It won't matter because it's about abortion. That's all it's ever it won't about. Be in the New York Times. What difference does it make? That's it for the panel. But stay